Okay, I think there's a CUDA in that little white pocket there. Oh, the sun coming out, you'll probably see it. There's a little seaweed patch and there's a long dark line. Let's see if we can get them to hit this. So I can ring it across there. Oh, here he comes. There he goes. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. That is exactly how you do it. <laughs> so I saw him sitting in that pothole right there. And just knew it. Wind and current's kind of running that way, so I knew he'd be facing up there and just had to get it around him and he's going to whack it. Oh yeah. Cuda tube. Oh, came off. All right, that'll work. <laughs> that is exactly how it works. So, I want to be the Cuda tube king, all right? And in order to do so, I need to kind of expand my line of Cuda tubes. Uh, right now, I got the baby Cuda tubes, uh, basically in five different colors. Uh, but I worked out a deal with the uh, the guy that actually produces these and he's actually here in Marathon But uh, he's going to allow me to sell the bare colored tubes uh, For those people that all uh, want to do the DIY and kind of make their own baby Cuda tubes or kind of uh, Make them their own custom way with hooks swivels weights and just be able to do them exactly how you want them uh, the other thing these are great for is they are great for making sunglass holders, the straps for them. Um, the history on these baby Cuda tubes was that um, guys were buying these uh, straps, which were they were basically sold as, as uh, sunglass straps. They were buying these tubes and then uh, making the basically eel lures out of them. And that's how he got started with them and started making them because he had so many people coming into a shop just wanting to buy the sunglass tubes and then finding out they're using them for lures. So basically like uh, here's the kudas, the mackerels that eat them, but uh, up in the northeast they're uh, used for the uh, stripers. So basically any eel eating fish will basically love these tube lures. So that's kind of what their providence is from. But uh, he said, yeah, go ahead and if you want to sell uh, just the bare tubes for those people that want to build their own, go for it. So I've also got the same five colors. I've got them in three foot, five foot, and ten foot lengths. Um, I guess I could probably, I think I'd go as long as you want if uh, you need it even longer than that. Uh, but uh, he's going to allow me to sell those separately. So I've got those listed now on the website, www.allaboutthebait.com. But uh, otherwise today I'm going to just kind of throw together a couple of quickie ones. Um, if you buy a five pack, uh, which is like the sample pack, five of one of each color, um, they come out to about four bucks. So if you're looking at cost saving to just do a couple of them, it's probably not worthwhile, especially if you have to invest in all the different components. Uh, if you're going to be doing the actual this way where you're using sleeves and cable, that you're gonna to need tools and then I mean it just really throws the cost way out of whack. However, if you have the basic assortment of ingredients to make these, then yeah, definitely it'd be worthwhile. Or if you are maybe like a guy who just basically goes through a ton of these, uh, then it might be worthwhile for you to do your own as well. Um, I think that one trip where I went out with Chuck, uh, I think we went through four or five of them. Uh, they get chomped off because those kudas don't necessarily have the best eyesight. You're ripping it through the water really quick. They're spinning and they can get excited and just basically hit the head and just cut that uh, line right off and they're gone. So you do go through quite a few of these. But anyways, I'm just going to throw together a couple of them with some of the stuff I have and just kind of show you how to basically make them. And yeah, otherwise check them out, www.allaboutthebait.com. All right, so we've got our existing baby Cuda tubes here. Um, they're approximately 10 inches in length. Um, I believe these are a 4 aught Mustad J-hook. Uh, and I think on the inside, yeah, using basically some shielded cable with a crimp. 
So that's basically how the they're attached there. Uh, cable runs all the way through, goes through an egg sinker, which is basically just pressed into the tubing and held on uh, just by the elasticity. And I imagine there's another loop going to a swivel. Uh, swivel is uh, mandatory because this is a spinning lure and that's how it gets that kind of waving effect in the water even though the tube is itself spinning. Um, one of the important things how you get that spinning motion is to have a natural curve in there so we don't want it to be perfectly straight. A lot of that has to do with the way you store it so I always try to store it in a loop like that so when you're ready to use it it has that natural bend ready for that spin. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can build something similar to that. Uh, like I said, since this, is, since this is DIY, you can make them however you want them. So let's see what we can do. All right, so here's the equipment list for the first way we're gonna build them. Uh, the first set I'm gonna do is using some seven strand nylon coated wire. So that'll be somewhat similar to the original setup. Uh, because I'll be using cable, I'm gonna need to use crimps as well as having some crimp pliers. Um, have some cutters just to cut the, the ends off. Uh, we've got a swivel, the two crimps, and then I'm just gonna use a J-hook that I had around. Like I said, I'm not gonna go out and buy anything for these, I'm just gonna kinda keep it budget. I just happen to have the pliers, so that's why I'm gonna do those. Uh, I've got an egg sinker for it. You basically want something around the diameter of the tube, and you can actually go a little bit larger because this, uh, this tubing will stretch quite a bit, especially if you have this, which is basically some dishwashing liquid, and that's gonna be our lubricant to allow us to get that egg seeker into the uh, tubing easily. Um, so that is the equipment list for our basic setup for number one. The second way we're gonna do it is just basically using some standard single strand wire. This is just the stuff that you would uh, make for preventing any cutoffs or going after toothy critters, some basic single wire. Um, so I'm just going to add a swivel on one side, got the little bit bigger egg sinker here, and I've got this small treble that I'm just going to give a try there, and again our tube and our lubricant that we're going to use. So keep it simple, just keep it the stuff that I've got, so it uh, keeps those costs down, and yeah, so now we can get to assembling. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is kind of just cut a notch out to make this little light tail there, so we're just going to kind of pinch it down, start from one corner, and just kind of cut upwards at a little bit of an angle. There we go. So that gives us a little bit of a rough cut, but a little nice little floppy tail. Okay, I went ahead and crimped on our hook. Uh, I just used one crimp. You can go as much as two uh, crimps if you want to, but that should be ready to go there. Now you can see this natural bend this uh, covered wire actually has, so that's a good thing there. So we're actually gonna insert the wire into the tube. Get it through the top there. And that notch where we cut out is actually what's gonna hold this hook in place. So if we want to get kind of a true accurate length, so that is going to end up butting up against that cut section there. So that'll give us a better idea of how long our actual cable is going to be. Next we're going to insert our egg sinker onto the cable and insert it into the tube. So I'm just going to take a drop and just of uh, dishwashing liquid, our lubricant. These are basically latex uh, tubes, so if you have any lubricant that'll work for that, that's fine. Okay, and then we're just gonna insert that into our tube. And push it down a bit. And you can play with where you put the weight in regards to uh, how it's gonna spin. So I'm just gonna give it about an inch from the end there. So now we've got our weight installed. And now we just have to put on our swivel and we're done. 
Now remember, since we're doing DIY, you could change things up. So one of the things I want to try is instead of having the swivel end right at the butt of the uh, the tube there, I'm going to give it a couple of inches of cable. Um, so hopefully that will prevent any bite offs because as this thing is spinning through the water, I'm reeling as fast as I can. Uh, it'll be easy for them to miss just the head and maybe bite a little bit ahead of it. And that's where I get those cut off. So I think I'm just going to give it a couple of inches before I uh, put that swivel on there. All right, so there's our completed rig there. Uh, basically cut the trim the tail, uh, put the uh, hook on the cable, insert the cable through the tube, push down your um, egg sinker, and then just put a swivel on the end. Um, that's my little bit of uh, bite off prevention there. And that still gives me that nice curvature there for the spinning motion. So I think this will work out great. All right, the second rig, we're gonna go very basic with uh, just using some single strand wire. I believe this is some number five, which is around, I think, 40 pounds. Uh, I would probably recommend going up to maybe like 60 pounds, but uh, that's what I have, so that's what we're gonna use. Same swivel, a little bit of a bigger egg sinker. I'm gonna see if I can get that to fit, uh, and I'm gonna throw on a uh, small treble to check that out to see how that swims. So uh, let's see what we can do. All right, I went ahead and trimmed the tail, okay, and then I attached the treble hook to the single strand wire using a haywire twist, which is a pretty standard way of tying it there, onto a loop basically. So that's all ready to go. So now I'm just gonna insert the wire through the tube, put our egg sinker on, insert that in there, and then uh, do another haywire twist to our swivel and uh, we're good to go. Insert the wire through the tube. I'm gonna butt that uh, treble hook all the way in there so that it's sitting in a locked in position. That's good there. Now we're going to lubricate our tube and insert our egg sinker. Egg sinker's a bit beat up, so I'm gonna see if it fits here. Just gonna put a drop of dishwashing liquid in there. Kind of lubricate it up and see if we can force this in there. Oh yeah, there it goes. Okay, push it down. There it goes. And then as that uh, dishwashing liquid evaporates, that uh, it'll basically end up like a, a kind of like a glue and that's not gonna go anywhere, so we're good there. So I'll do one more bimini twist, I mean a uh, haywire twist with a swivel and then we should be done. All right, so there you go. We've got the original setup here. Um, this is the one I just finished. This is using the single strand wire with a treble variable, a uh, little bit larger egg sinker and this is the first one, which was using the uh, seven strand uh, coated wire there and using crimps, so with a J hook. So a couple different variants for you to try. Uh, you can see the exposed wire here for extra bite off protection versus it uh, butt up against the rubber there. So we'll give these guys a try and then, uh, but otherwise, DIY baby cuda tubes, baby. Pick your color. Oh yeah, for uh, sunglass straps, very easy here. You can kind of see how they're done there. They're just basically press them onto the arms of your sunglasses. Um, same thing, you want to just add a little bit of dishwashing liquid. Be our lubricant there. And then insert it on the glasses there. Get them pushed up. Some lubricant. Yeah, putting them on dry is almost impossible, so you gotta have that lubricant. But, uh, makes it a lot easier. Get them about the same length there, yep. And there you go, that's all you gotta do. And you don't have to worry about them falling off your face and losing them. Okay, so there you go, that's how you take your colored silicone tubes and make your own little baby CUDA tubes or your sunglass holders. 
uh, quick and easy. So check them out, www.allaboutthebait.com. Just go to the uh, baby kudu tube section and uh, it'll have the uh, all the plain uh, uh, tubes as well. So anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you next video. Bye.